Welcome to our presentation for EIPCMC 2020. My name is Hazal Deniskaya from Middle East Technical University. Today I will present our research study on utilization of BIM for risk management. Let me show you my outline for the presentation. Firstly, I will talk about background information of the study in order to give initial ideas and reasons for the research. Then, objectives of the study will be presented. After that, research methodology and details of the survey will be shown. Later on, research findings will be indicated for each part of the survey. Lastly, I will try to give brief conclusion for our study before finalizing the presentation by indicating future research recommendations. BIM can be defined as a process to generate and manage information of buildings during the project life cycle. Mainly, BIM allows projects to be built virtually in the 3D model before they are constructed, thus eliminates several inefficiencies, clashes and problems that may arise during the construction phase of the project. BIM application in construction projects enables several advantages such as better collaboration and communication, effective project visualization before construction, more efficient cost estimation and scheduling, and an increase in productivity. Although many of these advantages that BIM contributes to projects may result in opportunities for better risk management, there are limited studies in the literature about this subject. Moreover, the implementation of traditional risk management methodologies can be heavily rely on the experience and manual undertaking that may decrease efficiency in the work environment. For this purpose, a study was conducted to explore the utilization of BIM for risk management and its impact on level of risk in construction projects. The architecture, engineering and construction industry has witnessed rapid developments in recent years. With complex and dynamic project environments that make the construction industry more vulnerable to risks, risk management has become more indispensable than ever. To suggest solutions for the efficiency problems in the current risk management procedures, a new research trend has emerged as utilizing BIM and BIM-related technologies for better risk ident identification, risk communication, and more efficient risk assessment in the planning and design phases. So the general scope of this research is to evaluate the possible benefits, disbenefits of BIM during general risk management processes that is shown in this slide. In this regard, to provide sufficient information for the potential use of BIM in risk management and encounter the literature gap of this subject, a survey questionnaire has been developed and administered to experts in the area of construction management. The survey was responded by 65 experts and in the next slide, the research methodology of this research will be indicated. Exploratory research on the utilization of BIM for risk management started with an overview of the literature on risk management and BIM. Consequently, a questionnaire form was designed and conducted. The survey has four parts and 40 questions. The first part of the questionnaire explains the purpose of the survey. In the second part, demographic questions are asked in order to understand the experience of respondents in the industry, especially in risk management and BIM applications. Then, opinion questions that have statements regarding utilization of BIM in risk management are presented and evaluated using a 5-point Likert scale, strongly agree, agree, neither agree nor disagree, disagree and strongly disagree. While preparing these statements, general utilization areas of BIM such as visualization, clash detection, interoperability, transfer of knowledge, coordination and collaboration, alignment of design with scope and budget, controlling revisions, safety and quality management are associated with risk management. In the last part of the survey, the impact and potential of BIM to increase or decrease the several risk factors are questioned and evaluated. Now, I will talk about research findings of our survey and the main results. The online questionnaire was answered by 65 experts experienced in BIM and risk management. Among the 65 respondents, 82% of them were engineers, whereas 8 respondents were architects and the remaining 4 indicated themselves as academicians. Nearly 50% of the respondents have been in the construction industry for more than 10 years. Participants of the survey were chosen among experts with high experience in project risk management, BIM 
and BIM-related technologies. The percentages of the respondents who are not familiar with BIM-related technologies is limited to 14%. In the upcoming two slides, I will try to briefly give the most agreed and agreed statements in the part 3 of the survey. Then, I will talk about significant subjects that have less agreement between our respondents. Finally, I will jump on the findings of the part 4 of the survey to finalize research findings. In the second part of the survey, 23 opinion questions were asked to participants. Generally, respondents stated that BIMS allows the identification and mutation of risks during the project lifecycle from many perspectives. The statements that are most agreed by the respondents are summarized in this slide. This table, as you can see in the slide, lists the statements where the summation of percentages of strongly agree and agree exceeds 75% and sorted according to the average ratings calculated using the 5-point Likert scale. When preparing the statements of Part 2, some features of usage of BIM is associated with risk procedures and highlighted in order to signify the main idea of the statements. As you can see in this table, most agreed statements are about integration of multidisciplinary knowledge and improvement in communication and collaboration. Both of these statements have 4.48 rating out of 5. So BIM is accepted as an effective tool for enhancing knowledge communication and improving knowledge sharing for risk management processes. In order to realize risks before construction or implementation, clash detection features in BIM may be beneficial. From the findings of the survey, it has been concluded that the clash detection feature which is often used in the most of the BIM application, is important for managing risks, especially during construction and implementation. Another issue that follows this rating and related to contribution of models in BIM to the construction industry is the time and cost factors that are integrated in 3D models. 77% of the respondents agreed on tracking through 5D models would enable risk vegetation more proactively. Nowadays, in line with the increasing scales and complexities in construction projects, visualization of the risk-related information becomes a critical task. Most of the respondents expressed that risk visualization through BIM at different phases of the project may help risk mutation and assessment during the project lifecycle. Now, let me move on to the second slide. The statements that are highlighted in this table have more than 80% agreement. However, unlike statements in the table in the previous slide, as you can see, these ideas have more undecided percentages. With 4.24 average rating, respondents believe that BIM facilitates the identification and mutation of risks at the design phase of the project. Moreover, during the design phase of the projects, automatic rule checking may be beneficial to notice design mistakes in advance. The percentages of those who not explicitly agree on the idea that automatic rule checking reduces the likelihood of design errors is limited to around uh, 17%. As it is explained in the previous slide, the highest impacts of BIM on risk management in the survey results are the integration of multidisciplinary knowledge and the shared environment that enables better communication. However, it was also observed that the percentage of the agreements drops slightly in other statements regarding this context. For instance, the average rating about the potential of BIM to increase awareness on risk sources for all parties through the sharing the risk-related information is reduces. So even though almost all of our participants believe that the share environment in BIM enables more effective risk mutation strategies and communication between parties, fewer participants thought that BIM increases the perception of risk sources and helps learning-based risk management. In the previous slides, statistics that mainly depends on the agreement of participants about BIM's advantages for risk management have mentioned. But there are also some points that respondents somehow did not agree or mostly undecided, which is less than 80% agreement. These results are tabulated in this chart based on the total disagreement. According to this, 
The statement with the highest percentage of disagreement was BIM's contribution to safety management, as you can see in the bottom of the chart. The International Industry Foundation classes, which is IFC standards, have the potential to encompass information regarding risk management. Interoperability in BIM through these standards and knowledge sharing platforms may support risk management. However, the statement related to this topic ranks second in percentage of total disagreement. Unlike other questions, the third statement from bottom in the bar chart is based on the fact that the problems in the implementation of BIM could create secondary risks or even, even raise risk levels. Although most of the respondents agreed, this statement has a significant undecided percentage and nearly 32% of total disagreement. Monitoring and tracking of projects is another issue that have nearly 30% disagreement. Quality control, parametric modeling and transferring of knowledge through BIM are another statements that have significant disagreed percentage. As you can remember from outline of the survey, in the fourth part of the survey, effect of BIM on several risk factors in construction projects was investigated. The result of the part 4 in the 5-point Likert scale is converted to weighted average, as you can see in the slide. According to the survey results, almost all calculated averages are above 3, which supports that the use of BIM in construction projects is seen as a useful in terms of reducing risk factors. According to the chart, BIM may be used to mitigate the risks of loss of information and revisions regarding the project. Moreover, BIM has a positive impact on reducing the risk of poor communication between parties and design errors rework. The use of BIM during the design phase and the reduction of design risks were supported in both this and the previous section of the survey. On the other hand, respondents stated that BIM generally does not affect the level of accidents and may even increase legal disputes between parties. And this is the end of the research findings that I converted to my slides. After that, I will uh, continue with the conclusions. Now, let me summarize the research findings and conclude my presentation. From the research finding of the survey, it can be concluded that the most important aspects of BIM are the integration of multidisciplinary knowledge and a shared environment that enables communication and collaboration for risk management. The mediation of risk of loss of information or updates, poor communication and poor collaboration between the parties are aspects that are mostly highlighted in this research. On the other hand, safety planning, hence reducing the level of accidents and interoperability through IFC standards are the most conflicting issues regarding the, the utilization of BIM in risk management. Moreover, some of the respondents stated that Legal risk may even arise when BIM is used in the project management. As a conclusion, the utilization of BIM, especially for risk mutation and assessment during the project life cycle, is seen as a useful for those experts experienced in Turkish construction industry. However, it has to be noted that the findings reflect the Turkish construction industry and cannot be generalized. It is also possible that, with a different population of experts, results could be different. Thus, this study should be seen as an exploratory study that provides some initial ideas about the utilization of BIM for risk management of construction projects, which may provide a background for further studies on using BIM in different contexts. It is expected that this research can provide a successful example for other exploratory studies on understanding BIM's role in project management and make a potential contribution to the literature of construction management. Similar surveys can be conducted in different countries and results can be compared. As a potential research topic, the role of BIM for different risk management tasks, at different project steps and for different project delivery systems can be investigated in detail and its benefits can be demonstrated by real applications. Thank you for your kind attention. If you have any questions or comments about our research, please don't hesitate to contact with me from this mail address. Thank you again.